Holy crap, Batman. I just found an amazing new way to mine. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. So much better than doing it manually. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are um, in the Alpha Mine. I'm running the Alpha Mine a few times over and over to look for diamonds, and guess what I found in this crate? Diamonds! Yes! Uh, so we're going to grab those. We got three out of the crate, and um, I'm just running through the mine, uh, too, to the end, because that's where the, the diamonds can be. Um, on Saturday afternoon... Um, on uh, April 17th, which is today, I did uh, about a five and a half or so hour live stream and had a, had a lot of fun. Um, and some of you guys watching uh, may have been on the stream. And if you were, uh, thank you very much for hanging out. We had a good time and we got a lot of stuff done. So, yeah, um, if you guys haven't seen that stream, I'd recommend that you stop watching this video and watch the stream first because a lot of things happened uh, in the stream itself. Um, basically, um, we finished the base for the most part, except for some house cleaning kinds of things that I need to do. Well, we got the assault rifle here, as you can see. Uh, we made the, the crab mech and had some fun with that. And I made the spaceship and we actually went up into space and landed on, um, the, the, the frozen moon at Aziel or Azriel or whatever it's called. And yeah, had some fun. We found the new dawn base, ran the alpha mine a few times, which is what I'm doing here and made a lot of good progress and had a lot of fun so anyway um yeah i recommend like I said that you that you check that out before you watch this episode unless you know you don't care uh, about spoilers that sort of thing all right now so yeah we're just going through the mine here and um i'm going to I, i've got a lot of stuff to do around the base most of which i'm going to do off camera um like i said just kind of you know house cleaning kinds of things and um but what i'm doing now is I'm really actually after steel more than anything because I, I keep running out of steel. That's what what I keep running out of <laughs> is steel. So uh, we're just running through the mine here. And did I miss a note up here? Uh, I thought there was one up. Yeah, I did miss one. There's one right here. Uh, so, you know, we're just looking for magnesium and iron. I actually have a pretty decent amount of iron. It's the magnesium that I keep running out of because you need that to make the iron. Uh, any barrels that we're finding, I'm pretty much turning that into steel too, because I have plenty of barrels. And then just going to the end of Alpha Mine here and looking for, you know, diamonds, because there's a chance that diamonds can spawn at the end of this mine. But like, like I just showed you, we also found some uh, right, right in the crate, which is really cool. Sometimes when this assault rifle fires, it doesn't play the sound on the first burst, which is really odd. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying the, the assault rifle. I actually don't mind it at all. And, um, you know, the, I think the, the pistol does a little bit more damage overall, but the ammo, the ammo, the ammo, I was going to say ammo and ammunition at the same time. Uh, the ammo for the assault rifle is a lot cheaper to make. Um, and I have actually haven't even had to make any ammo yet because I keep getting what I need just from running these caves. Um, so it, you know, I, I'm actually getting more overall from the cave. I'm looting more than I'm shooting is what I'm trying to say. Looting more than shooting, uh, which is a nice problem to have. Actually, it's not really a problem at all. I'm not sure why I said that was a problem. So, yeah, I have not made a single clip of ammo yet, which is really cool. Okay, so let's grab this copper node here. And so what I'm what I'm doing now, of course, like I said, is just going through the mine, running it several times, trying to get the stuff that we need for um, to make steel. And uh, so I'm, I'll take you into the the end room to see if we luck out and get any diamond spawns in here. There's usually a pretty decent group of mobs in here too. Apparently, there used to be a an actual boss like a spider boss or something in here that you had to fight but um i have never seen that myself so all right so uh, we've got plutonium in here which is pretty common 
We've got some copper and some uh, iron there, but I'm not seeing the diamonds. So there's usually a couple of nodes over that way, but they're usually the, you know, the, the nodes that have like uh, the deposits that have like d several different kinds in. Uh, that bug, I guess we don't have to worry about him right now. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not, uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do in this episode. We might actually go back up into space. Um, but I have a lot of, a lot of grinding to do first, a lot of off-camera stuff. So, um, I'm going to let you guys go here and just kind of keep running the mines for a little bit longer. And then start working on the stuff around the base that I want to, uh, that I want to do. And then when I'm done with that, what what we need to get in space is we need to go to the asteroids, and get the little blue um, azure something something gems, because um, we need those to make all of the all of the robots, all the android things. Uh, so okay, I'm not going to grab that plutonium. I've got more plutonium than I know what to do with, and I'm actually quite a, got quite a bit of lithium too. So I'm just going to leave that there. Really. What we need more than anything else is magnesium, and believe it or not, and of course diamonds too. So that's what we're really looking for in the in the mine right now. We made a lot of good food and stuff, and yeah, just just some cool changes around the base. But um, I will I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer and just kind of keep farming this mine. Um, and I have I actually have the spaceship parked outside. It's got a huge amount of storage space. So I've actually been using it, you know, as a, as a hauling, a hauling vessel, among other things, right? And it doesn't take any fuel, too, which I think is just a temporary thing. I, I believe the devs are planning on implementing that. They just haven't yet. So right now it's free. <laughs> it's free to fly. Uh, it has lots of space. And so that's, oh, shit, I almost ran out of stuff there. So that is what we're using. We need to address this. Um, I made some crap stew. Best food in the game. 100 nutrition, 15 quench, plus a 15-minute 100% strength bonus, which is really nice. But I'm kind of saving that for when we go up into space. Uh, so let's just eat uh, that. And then I made a bunch of steamed carrots, which is actually really pretty damn good food, too. And then we need to drink, as usual. And yeah, we're good. Uh, we found in the live stream... Uh, oxygen and we found fluorine so we found all five of the gases that are on the planet which is cool and I'm going to make you know the large um, gas tanks storage tanks depots or whatever uh, at the base to store uh, all that stuff so we're gonna have one at least one large tank of all of the gases at the base once I you know get that done but like I said I've got quite a bit of work to do probably two or three hours of real time if not longer uh, work to do but here's all the space in the spaceship it's got a huge amount of storage space so I'm just coming out here and you know dropping off the ores and stuff and then going back in and running the mine a few times um, we can put the ingots in there too that's cool we found diamonds we, we, we had to use two diamonds to make the assault rifle um, but we have there's a lot of things um, that the game requires diamonds for here in the end game so that's why I'm just kind of farming these right now uh, so I think that's all we need to put in there uh, for the moment. This stuff will stack, so I'm just going to keep it in there. Uh, but I'm putting the ores in here, of course, because they're really heavy. So, yeah, that should be good. I made the pick. It's not actually not as good as, as the Conduit Bender. The Conduit Bender still is the best mining and melee weapon as, you know, as of right now in the game. It's just, it's really weird, but it is. So the pick is not as good. That's the conduit bender. Anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to cut the camera here and do a bunch of work and some more farming and stuff. I will bring you back at some point with an update, and uh, we will probably um, plan on going uh, up into space uh, when I get back. Okay, so see you in a bit. Bye. Hey, guys, look what I found. Our very first diamond node. So we found a few diamonds in um, crates, of course. Uh, but this is the first node I've actually found. So this is what it looks like, in case you were wondering. And let's see how many diamonds we get from it. Okay, so we got... We got six diamonds from that. Very nice. Okay, very nice. So yeah, um, I've probably run Alpha Mine here probably another thir three times since I left you last time. 
So this is, I think, either, well, I can't remember for sure. It's either the third or the fourth run uh, since I left you in the last uh, segment there. And, uh, yeah, first time we found diamonds, so very nice. So we have a total of, let's see, we found the three earlier. We have found six now, so that's nine. Plus, I think I have four back at the base. So we have a total of 13 diamonds now in total, which is really cool. Holy crap, Batman. I just found an amazing new way to mine. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. So much better than doing it manually. I'm assuming we get we get all the, you know, that we get all the resources that we normally would if we were just doing it manually. Oh man, you can just come along and just destroy these nodes and get a ton of ore with very minimal effort. It doesn't cost any fuel on the crab or anything. I believe you can also do this like on the mech too. One advantage, though, the crab has over the mech is the mech only has, um, like, I think he only has one shot, whereas this guy's got three. So, you know, if you can spread it out a little bit more, sometimes you have to kind of aim it. It, it. it can aim a little, uh, or the aim can be just a little bit odd. There we go. We got that one. Wow. This is amazing. Okay. Anyway, um, so, yeah, we are... Uh, it's actually the next day for me in real life. Um, I spent, uh, I was up very late last night, later than I normally would stay up, uh, just getting everything done around the base that I wanted to do. And oh, cool! Look, we got a, we got another satellite. These things just kind of randomly show up, I guess, wherever they show up, and uh, they show up on the map as a, an orange circle with an exclamation mark in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see in my upper right hand corner. But um, you can get some really good resources from these things, uh, like circuit boards and wire and, you know, barrels and that kind of thing. So a lot better than just, uh, yeah, so we got some circuit boards there. Uh, I don't think those are going to hit us. So it's, it's a little bit better than the normal, you know, just space debris that you get from most everything else. There's a, a cone here too so we got some batteries yeah this these are these things are awesome for looting but anyway um so yeah i spent a lot of time last night in real life um last as opposed to last night in the game um working on the base and so i got things pretty much set up the way that i want them um but we're really low on steel again as usual so i i was watching uh, somebody else's youtube video and they were in their mech that's a, a crab part and they were out mining uh, in the mech, and I got to thinking, hmm, I wonder if the crab can do that too. And sure enough, man, oh, that is so cool. So, I mean, how much, um, how much ore do we have in our inventory already? Look at all of that stuff. And all we have to do is go around and shoot stuff. So that's really cool. But anyway, let's go take a quick look at the base, just to kind of give you an update on where we're at with that. And then, um, we the plan is for the the next part of this episode is to go up into space, and you know, find uh, some of the other the the blue they're called azurite i think or something like that azurite uh we need that uh for making like the droids and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and loot these guys get their stuff we're in really really good shape you know with food at this point too so uh, i've got all of the the crop plots in as i'll show you and uh you know, so we're growing carrots and we're doing about 60% carrots, 40% potatoes, because it seems like I've got a lot more potatoes than I do carrots uh, from looting. And, you know, we can always change that up later if we decide to do so. At least I'm assuming we can. I hope we can. Um, so let's go in here. I had a weird itch, uh, issue with the crab where when I parked it in here and then got on it, it did this kind of third person glitch kind of thing. So I think I'm just going to keep the vehicles outside of the dome. As far as I can tell, none of the uh, none of the monsters will will mess with the vehicles. They don't they don't seem to do any damage to them. I also picked up my inflatable dome, which I cannot repair no matter what I do, uh, and put it in here. So that way, if you know if we go uh, or when we go to a more hostile environment on another moon, we can you know plop that sucker down if we need to do so. Uh, we've got some extra oxygen tanks and some extra water in there too. 
Okay, so let's look at the base. Nothing changed on this side. It's pretty much the same. All the changes we made were over here. So I completely removed all of the equipment and stone walls that were kind of, you know, forming a perimeter around this way. And on this side of the base, I have five tanks set up, one for each of the gases that we can find here on Proteus. And uh, I haven't filled them all up yet, though. This is uh, helium. I'm sorry, not helium, hydrogen. Uh, this one is chlorine. This one is O2. And then we'll put fluorine and nitrogen. Actually, I think, do I have a little nitrogen? Yeah, I got a tiny bit of nitrogen in this one. So nitrogen and fluorine will go in those tanks, but I have to gather all that stuff up, which of course I'll do off camera. Um, and then on this side, I've got two water tanks set up. Uh, this one's at 90%, that one's at 67 and then I have one hydrazine uh, tank set up. And all the hydrazine, well, I shouldn't say all of it, some of the hydrazine in there is what we've looted, and then we've also made a little bit too. Um, let's go ahead and take care. I got a whole bunch of steamed carrots. Very cheap food, but very very good food uh, for what it gives you. It's only, only it's, it's like one carrot and that's it. Uh, let's see, over here we've got our chem station because there's a, a couple things this chem station can make that the one inside can't and vice versa. We moved the small solar panel there. Repair tables here. I couldn't I couldn't get the repair table to line up with the base, so that's why it's at kind of a weird angle, but is what it is. Can't do anything about it. And then we got the forge. I decided to go with just two furnaces for now since we have an abundance of water. If we get into a situation later where we start to run out of water, I can always make more of these. That's not a big deal. Okay, uh, we put uh, we, we put raw ores in here that uh, we only have one of. That's all just cloth. This is sand and a couple of other things. Oh, I guess I'm keeping the extra debris in here too, so let's move that stuff over. Uh, this depository is all barrels for gas. This depository is all jars for liquid, and I haven't put anything in these two yet. All right, so let's go here, and I want to... I want to do, um, yeah, just start doing the ores. We can do three in there. We can do three in here. And it doesn't look like we need to use this guy. Okay, and then if we have any individuals left, we just put those back in here until the next time. But yeah, going out on the crab, man, I mean, we don't get the advantage of getting the stuff out of the containers like we do in the mines but if you're just after ore that that is the way to mine that is really awesome okay let's see i am keeping i am keeping one or a couple of debris chests here with you know the the, the animal parts in it i don't think i need these anymore um so at some point i'm probably just going to start chucking them on the ground but you know we'll Maybe what we'll do is we'll at least have a full stack of everything before we start doing that. I don't know. I, what I understand, we don't actually need them anymore. Okay. Um, over here, I've got a, a space debris chest, which I guess we need to repair. And uh, I'm just collecting more dookie in here in case we decide at some point in, in the future to expand our farm. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're, we're just doing that. And then uh, the only thing that I'm not able to do is I still, for the life of me, cannot repair the biodome. It just refuses to repair. I don't know why, but it works. And, you know, it's not likely anything's going to happen to it because it's all protected, but it just won't let me repair it. So it's just odd. It's just an odd thing, man. Let's take a drink. Okay, so I have all of the advanced planters set up in here. Uh, the ones on the side are potatoes. Are they ready to pick? Oh, they are. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a G, F, and B. And then uh, these are also potatoes on this side. They should all be pretty much ripening at the same time now because I harvested them all at the same time. And then the ones in the center are all carrots. Uh, so G... B and F. I wonder, is there a way to change the plants in here without, you know, like destroying it? So if we have this in our hand, we can repair and destroy, but I don't see a way. What's advanced repair do? Smartbin is already at full health. Huh. All right, so it doesn't appear to be a way to change these. Oh, I wonder if you... Here, let's try something. 
This is for science. Of course, just about everything we're doing on this game is for science, right? Okay, so we have... Oh, man, look at that, you guys. We got almost a full stack of carrots from, from those crop plots and about a half stack of potatoes. So if I just have potatoes in my inventory... No, nope, it doesn't give me a chance to change these. So I guess, yeah, once you set this up, it's permanent and unless you... You know, unless you, uh, ru uh, not ruin, but disassemble the whole thing and then restart over. That kind of sucks that you can't change those, but, you know, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Okay, I made a bunch of normal bandages because that's basically just purple berries and cloth, and we've got cloth coming out of our ears. So once these makeshift bandages are used up, I'm not, I won't make any more of those. I'll just make these because, again, we just have such an abundance of resources for that stuff. I put in another storage locker here, and this is going to be for ammunition and tools, extra tools. And then um, this, of course, is our usual supplies that we we put our building materials um, in. Okay, and this is uh, this is ores. It's getting really full. And then, of course, you know, this is our food in here. So we're doing great on food, man. We have so much food. It's just, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Let's just have a steak for now. And um, so. Um, let's see. What do we want to do now? Let's go in here and. Refresh our buffs and get a save point going with the bed. So I'm feeling pretty good about the base. Um, you know, it's 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 a little bit tight in terms of the uh, you know the the bubble here. There's more room here we can expand. You know, if we decide at some point, excuse me, that we need to put more gas tanks in. I could also squeeze some more liquid tanks in on this side if we need to. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything is nice and neat and organized, a place for everything, everything in its place. So what I want to do is let's go take a look at uh, the laboratory. And I want to make the the mining droid first. So we're going to need three azurnium. Excuse me. To make that. The security droid might be fun to make too. Um, I wonder if you can take this into a mine with you. That would be awesome. So that's going to need seven Azurnium. The personal assistant. I'm not, I'm not sure what this guy does for you. Does he like carry stuff for you or something? I don't know. We, we'll probably make him just for the hell of it, right? And then, um, we want to make the mech. In fact, you know what? We could make the mech right now. This doesn't require any Azurnium. Yeah. Okay. That's that's cool. The mech the mech's faster than the crab. Um that's one advantage that it has over the crab. Uh I want to make the ground assault vehicle at some point. I don't know if I'm gonna make the rover, guys. Ten diamonds is expensive, and the spaceship has just as much storage space as the rover does. So, I mean, if we make it at all, it's, it's going to be when we have a whole bunch of extra stuff and we'll make it just for the hell of it. Uh, we are going to make the ground assault vehicle. I'm not going to make the hover bike because it's it doesn't work very well. It gets stuck. The nose of it gets stuck on the terrain and it uses a shitload of fuel, even though we did kind of turn that down in the settings. So, um, yeah, so we need basically seven, ten, and five. So we need f uh, 15 azurnium in total to make these three bots. Okay, um, boy, we can make this right now. I kind of want to do that. Let's do it. What the hell? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's make the oh shit. Let's make the the mech and just have take it out for a quick test run before we we hop up into space. Yeah, you can't get to me, you little bugger. He's a bugger, quite literally. Um, okay, so diamonds. We need diamonds. And yeah, here, let me grab all the stuff that we need uh, for that, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll make the mech. Check it out. Okay, we have all the stuff to make the mech. Let's do it. There he is. There it is. There he is. She is. I don't know. Do our mechs, do mechs have sexes? Oh, I need to remember to make um the heat and cold um, module before we go back up into space because um, when we did that on the uh, on the live stream I had had problems with severe cold all right let's get um, these guys are kind of in the way can I hop up in here 
Oh, <laughs> I hopped up in here and then I hopped out from tapping the button. You doiny rant. Here. Wasn't there another bug around somewhere? Like a, oh yeah, a little one. You dead. You dead too. I have to say, I do like the triple blaster on the, on the crab. Okay, so let's just park you here. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, you guys. So the mech has, does it, does it have a triple blaster? I think it's got a double blaster. You know, oh man, here's the other thing too. You can't, you can't spam the shots on this like you can on the crab. That's, that sucks. I wonder, I wonder though if it does more, more damage. Hmm, I don't know. It moves faster than the crab, so, you know, you got that. And I think it has a very small inventory. Let's look at that. So, yeah, it's got it. It, it has an inventory. It's super, super small, but it's better than nothing at all, right? So you could put a, a couple of heavy stacks or something in there. Um, but I don't, hmm, I don't like, I think the crab is superior in that it's got three bolts, and you can spam it very quickly in rapid succession, whereas this, that's as fast as it'll go. I'm, I'm tapping the mouse button as fast as I can. Huh, interesting. Okay. All right, well, this is cool. Um, still effective. It's better because it's faster, and, uh, and it's got a little bit of storage. Oh, oh, the other thing that's good about this is we're enclosed in a cockpit where we're not on the crab. So, you know, we don't have to worry about the dust storm. But I think on a clear day, if you just want to go out and do some some quick mining, I, I actually think the crab is the better vehicle for that than this is. I wonder how this would fare against the... The worm guys. If, I, I don't even know if it's possible to kill those guys. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, you know. Crab is better in some ways. Mech is better in some ways. You definitely can move a little faster in this than you can in the crab. So you got that going for you. And you're in an enclosed cockpit. So if they made... If you were able to rapid fire this, then, you know, then this would definitely be better than the crab. But that's the, you know, probably the most important thing the crab has an advantage over. And it's got, you know, triple shots. But here again, I don't know if the damage is equal either. If the mech does more damage, per, you know, per shot, then, you know, there's that too. But I, I don't really have any way of knowing because... You know, it doesn't. The game doesn't tell you what how much damage you're doing. I wonder if there's a mod. There probably is a mod that would show you that, or maybe there's something in the settings that shows that. I I haven't noticed it, but I haven't really looked for it either. Pretty cool though. It's definitely fun. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna head back to base and get uh, ready to to go. And we're going to head back up into space. I'm going to make the the two uh, mods, you know, the one for heat and the one for cold. I'm assuming we can just switch those out on the fly. I hope we can. Uh, so that way, you know, when we get to um, up into, uh, or when we land on a, a really cold or a really hot planet. I don't know if there is a really hot planet in this, uh, in the game. I'm assuming there, there probably is because, you know, you have a heat thing like an air conditioner um, module or you know maybe they they're planning on having one later but they don't now I don't know but we'll go check it out uh, the only place I've been in space so far is just we landed a, on I think it's called Aziel or Azriel an ice planet or ice I should say moon because they're all moons for just a little while messed around but we didn't do anything real substantial there so 
Uh, we have a lot of ex exploration to do in space. All right, guys, I'll bring you back in a little bit when we're ready to head into orbit. Vitals dropping.